like I'm father, like I'm Naruto. Keep the blade on me, Ichigo. Who really wanna go toe for toe? TTR from Tokyo. Diamonds whipping up on the stove. Lucky man, like a fully clove. Diamonds wanna go. Hello, everyone. This is Nagato's Revenge, and welcome back to my channel. For today, I will be showcasing on how to play MAME 2003 Arcade ROM with RetroArch on your modded Vita. With that being said, please be sure to follow my social media so you'll know the latest hacking guides and tutorials for the theme. With that being said, as well, I just want to go ahead and talk about the prerequisites. So, the things you'll need for this video is a modded PlayStation Vita or PSTV that is using Hankaku, HON Corp, or the new Trinity hack. As well, your system should be on either firm between 3.60 to 3.70 you also need the latest version of Vita Shell and also you need the latest version of RetroArch and as well last but not least you need the MAME 2003 0.7 ROMs so you could actually play the games as a reminder and just tips for RetroArch since I had a few issues while doing this if your MAME games are showing up flipped up on your screen so certain arcade games may be like 90 degrees flipped or may just look like it's rotated upside down you could go into the settings user interface then also show advanced settings and then make sure that option is on and then the rotation option should appear in your settings and video and also as well that option should be at the bottom of your list so when you look for that as well you want to go to settings core and then also turn off this option called uh, allow rotation and as the video goes on I'll state more about on that process as well and last but not least I just want to give a special shout out and thanks to the official flow just for you know releasing so many great hacks for the scene and i just want to say thank you to all my supporters and viewers who always watch my channel with that being said we can go ahead into the tutorial all right guys so assuming that you did follow all of the prerequisites as stated in the intro what we could do now is go ahead and get started on the first step so i'm on my uh, vita right now streaming it using the um plugin but what we need to do is go ahead and open up vita shell if you don't have it there will be in the link in the description below but what we need to do is go ahead and either choose on your method on how to basically if you want to ftp files over or you want to use um usb for this method i do recommend using your usb cable to your vita since transferring a lot of games may take a while if you're using it via wi-fi but since i am streaming this on my uh pc anytime if i try to transfer files with usb it wouldn't be able to you know show up on the screen so what i'm going to do now is go ahead and hit start scroll all the way down to FTP by either you know using my directional pad either on left or right then from there I'm gonna go ahead and hit select and then of course make sure your Wi-Fi is on as well and then as you see here I basically have my IP so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and switch out to my um, desktop right now as shown here and what we need to do is go ahead right now is to open up FileZilla but the two programs as stated before I have my main ROM games here so all of my games are in one big folder and they should be in a dot a zip file I'm not gonna provide links to you know the ROMs of course but um you also need the latest version of RetroArch as well so once you open up FileZilla there will be a link in the description as well there will be a download for that you just got to go ahead and boot it up and now what we need to do is go ahead and type our IP in that is displayed on our Vita in this case this is mine and always the port guys for the Vita is 1337 go ahead and hit quick connect if you do this little uh, error that's fine but what should happen if you have your unsafe homebrew unticked you should see all your directories what we need to do now is go ahead into UX0 and then go ahead and create a folder and this is the way how you could do this either if you are USB in this or files or using files oh, excuse me you can go ahead and right click and then hit create directory and enter it and you want to make a folder called retro arc underscore roms and this is where i put all of my uh games at so for example all of my main games are all in one folder right here and i already did it a little bit earlier in the video but all you would have to do essentially is go ahead from your usb or excuse me in this area go ahead and drag your main games here but since i don't want to take too long and you know showcase it transferring over um I'm just going to leave that portion of this tutorial cut off but what we need to do as well is take our RetroArch VPK and we're just going to go ahead and copy it over to UX0 which is our memory card 
so um, once that process is done as well it's not or it shouldn't take too long um, but I'll come back once that process is finished and I'll tell you guys the next steps on what to do a few moments later all right guys if I go ahead and open up FileZilla right now I'll show you right now that RetroArch has finished doing its thing and basically it's transferred successfully from my PC to my PlayStation Vita via with Vita Shell. What we need to do now is go ahead and X this out or minimize FileZilla since it's not needed right now. And then I'm going to go ahead and showcase my Vita on the screen. So let me do that. And then once you back into your Vita, you can go ahead and close out of the FTP server. And then from here, what we need to do is go ahead and just click X in basically x over retroarch and install it like in any other vpk um with retroarch i notice um since it has a lot of assets and a lot of images and pictures it does take a while for it to install so what i'm going to do now is go ahead and pause the video right here and then once it's finished installing it should be in your guys live area if you did everything successfully and then we could go ahead and get started on the other steps in the video Alright guys, so as shown here, basically RetroArc.VPK has installed basically on my UX0, aka my memory card. What we could do now, once your guys is transferred over, either using the USB method or the FileZilla method, we could go ahead and minimize the screen. And right now, I'm going to go ahead and switch over back to my Vita so you guys can see. We could go ahead and close out the FTP server as well. And if you're in your UX0 directory, as you should be, if not, just go ahead and scroll down to it right here and then scroll all the way down until you see your RetroArch.VPK. What we could do now is go ahead and install it just like any other VPK package by hitting X and then go ahead and, and basically install it like any normal package as well um it may take a little while and that's pretty normal with the retro arc vpk i'm not too sure why even if it's a you know 142 megabyte file it does take a quite a long time i think it's because it has a lot of um images and a lot of uh, assets within the vpk so what i'm going to do here is basically just stop the video and then come back once it's uh, done but once your guys is done as well it's going to pop up to your live area and then we can go ahead and get started on the next step Alrighty, so as shown here as well basically retro arc is on my uh, vita right now what i'm going to do is just go ahead and open it up just like any other homebrew so it may take a little second for it to showcase on the screen but what we need to do is go ahead and focus on some of the tips as I stated in the intro because I noticed certain uh, arcade ROMs for MAME, um, it doesn't show up on the screen and it's basically uh, it's flipped. So what we need to do is go ahead into our settings first, scroll all the way down to user interface. So that's what I'm doing right now. Go ahead and hit circle over it and then you want to go ahead and make sure that show advanced settings is toggled on. Once you have that as well, what we need to do is go into settings for our video. So scroll all the way back up and then make sure that the option at the list is basically rotated to um, 90 degrees or what we need to find is video rotation normal and then we go go ahead and toggle this manually to 90 degrees for certain our games or 180 so if we try to go ahead and run one of our main games so if i go into load content scroll all the way down to ux0 go ahead and find my retro arc roms and then scroll all the way down to where i have my main games i'm going to go ahead and test 1943 for example and what we need to do is go ahead and load archive and make sure you're choosing MAME or arcade MAME 2003 so this is the one we're going to be using right now and then once that process is finished uh, your screen will go black for maybe about five to ten seconds due to the fact that anytime when you switch another core what is happening is your system is trying to emulate for that core but as shown here this is 1943 and yeah it's playing in live time i'm not going to uh, have any volume on the screen due to like copyright reasons but yep i am playing uh an arcade game on my playstation vita in real time as shown here this is you know my vita you could tell from the screen but yep that's essentially how you do that process if you guys did like this video please be sure to you know share it with your friends and please be sure to you know follow like and subscribe on my content where i post daily modding tutorials with that being said nagato i'm out Peace.